Hello, Traveler, and welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is the third episode of Kingdom and Friends, where we play with the best content creators from across the globe. We had the pleasure of joining Mental Misplay on their stream and taking part in the amazing energy that they have. They stream weekly at twitch.tv slash mental underscore misplay. So go check them out. We hope to be able to join them again there soon. In game one today, we have Jason with Kingdoms playing Yawgmoth Ran Position. This deck looks to power out Yawgmoth into a combo with an Undying Creature or with Bolus' Citadel and Aetherflux Reservoir to play enough spells to Death Star the board. Alan, with Mental Misplay, is playing Marin of Clan Neltoth. This deck looks to combo win with some Hulk lines or switch to a grindy game, taking advantage of Marin's reanimation ability. Cyrus, with Mental Misplay, is playing Ikris Shadiki, the Usurper, and Krom Ludovic's Opus. This deck looks to play Ad Nauseum using Ikra to make sure they have enough life to go deep. Underworld Breach and Dockside can lead to Brain Freeze or Oracle Winds too. And lastly we have Carlos with Kingdoms playing Kess Dissident Mage. This deck looks to get some advantage through Counter Magic and Wheels, and then when the time is right, use Tainted Pact or Demonic Consultation into a Thassa's Oracle to win. There is also a Breach Brain Freeze backup plan too. With that, let's play some Magic. I'm gonna play a swamp. I'm gonna cast Skull Clamp. Pass Ooh. the turn. Big draws. That's gonna be polluted delta. I'm gonna crack it for a bayou and ship it. We'll do the draws. Uh, Verdant Catacombs for a Badlands. Badlands will cast Soul Ring and pass. Draw Rainforest and yeah, I'll pass. Untap. Draw. Let's play a swamp. Definitely d didn't just draw this, but a uh, jeweled lotus. <laughs> and, you gotta uh, love the awkward jeweled lotus. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's still getting my commander out it's, early. Um, so, well, yeah, it still is uh, a good uh, draw. With, uh, with it on the stack, line. I'll get rid of my rainforest just right then. No, oh, okay. no, re no my, responses. My heart started dying there. I yeah, thought no. you were countering uh, it or no, something. No, no, no <laughs> responses. <laughs> yeah, I cast Yawgmoth, and then I'll equip Skull Clamp to him just in case, and pass the turn. Ooh, on taps. Big draws, let's get it. We're gonna drop a, a second fetch. We will crack it while the Kraken's good and go get an overgrown tomb. We'll go get the fetchable tomb. Take three off of that. That sucks because the follow-up is going to be two for a library and I'll ship it from there. Draws <laughs> upon draws. I'm going to deal myself a damage for a blue, red, two colorless, and an elvish spirit guide mana or crown holy mother i thought jason's was good but second turn crom is better oh. yeah turn two crom always feels good no that feels much worse now that i've got my library out there <laughs> yeah i know i don't know who to attack you're not on nas i know that about marin yagmoth i feel like it's a toss-up if yagmoth's trying to do nas right. things and you Guess said is always nas, right? and yeah i i have nas Guess. i definitely have nas yeah we'll we'll go for the cast attack okay take it big pass draw for turn let's play a city of brass we'll just play a talisman and pass uh tap draw sorry i gotta take a damage from the city cyrus you're like a farm deck right with yeah. adnaz i'm gonna cast dead rolic on your commander that's Oof. big sad go to combat and uh Yawgmoth is gonna attack you for three pass the turn that's gonna be big untaps and then we get a library trigger that's even bigger draws than normal let's get it i'm gonna drop wooded foothills as land for turn and we're gonna do two for a wish claw and Love i will rack the foothills for a forest that's going to be cost a caterpillar off of that forest, and I'm going to ship it from there. I'm going to Jessica's Will targeting Carlos with the mana one. So yep. I get six red and a blue, and we'll get Krom back out there. We'll swing at Carlos again. Pass. Untap, draw. We'll play a Flooded Strand. How many fierce guardianships does Jason play in his mono black deck? More than you'd think. More than you'd um, think. Um, I haven't cast Praetor's Grasp yet. So I know. Zero. I know. Definitely um, got that withering boon mana though. You sort of called it, so we'll just play into into that. Nice, got it. Wow. Hey. <laughs> in response, yeah, I'm gonna cast Vampiric Tutor. Okay, let's now. 
Crack the strand for a life and a blue, I guess. And then I will cast Snap on a Dockside Extortionist. Oh. If that is good, I will bounce this guy and untap these two. I mean, and, it's not, but and, I don't have any responses. <laughs> and then I'll tap these two again and do Mr. Side for a total of seven. Okay, then oh, let's uh, try a Wheel of Fortune. Oh. I have to then hold priority, sack the other four, and what? cast Notion Thief. Did you draw a card? From Chrome Trigger? Oh no, I just showed my hand though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it so is. You I do have a Chrome Trigger, trigger yeah. Packed, Breed Bull, Pier, Miscast, Veil Summer, and Consultation. Collective Brutality, Pawn of Ulamog, Praetor's Grasp, Opposition Agent. I got three lands, Triskelion, and an Oran Frostfang. Those are yeah, all great. I was, I was excited about the snake. And then we draw nothing. 28. Eight. Yep, enjoy that. <laughs> Thank That's you. the feeling. Wow. It feels pretty good, yeah. So I will pay one life, get a black mana, go to 28. So I'll cast a dark ritual, get three black. I'm going to use two of it for Izzik Signet. I will rapid hybridization your commander, Jason, and have a red floating. Sorry, I use the last mana to get a blue and a red, and then use the blue to rapid hybridization. Royce, right? Yeah, and then you draw two cards. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh, draw those yeah, two. Three, three. Uh, and then I get a three three oh. green frog lizard. Okay, I'll play a mana crypt. I will just <sighs> going to discard. I will keep those seven. I'm discarding Randomate, Ad Nauseum, Brainstorm, Vampiric Tutor, Ransack the Lab, uh, some land, Dothy, Voidwalker, Mr. Cremora, Jace Friends Prodigy, Opposition Agent, wow. and some lands. I turn. Yeah. Draw, play a soul ring, and then I'll go to equip skull clamp on my green frog lizard, and that will make him a 4 2. Sweet. Carlos, you're being attacked. Yeah, I'll take four. And I'll pass. All right. Untaps. Draw you... a card and skip the library trigger. Land for turn. Peep land. We're going to tap one. I'm going to crack the wish claw talisman and give it to Jason. Ooh. Yes. Oh, no. I'm going to tap one and I'm going to cast a reanimate targeting the Dothy Voidwalker. I will pass the turn with a Dothy Voidwalker. All right, we're going to need some extremely big draws. This feels real bad, but I'm a dark ritual and then overpay for Ikra. As long as that's good by everyone, I'm going to swing four in the air at Carlos. 12 commander damage. And I will gain four from Ikra. And then pass. Untap mana crypt trigger. We'll do odds, no damage. Evens, take three. Draw for turn. The thing is, is that there is a Dothy Voidwalker out there, so I gotta be a little yeah. careful. Oh, Boy. that means Dark Ritual got exiled too. Oh, uh, I got a Dark Void Ritual counter. out there now? Let's uh, get it, Dark Ritual! Let's first cast Winds of Rebuke, targeting the Voidwalker. That puts it back in hand. No, that means it's in your <laughs> hand! <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> mill two. Yeah, everybody mills two. Yeah. <laughs> One colorless floating. Oh man, big rips uh, to you too. Mana crypt and LED. I got a carpet and a wheel of misfortune. I hit a shriek maw and a noxious revival. Entomb and, wow. and negate. Then I'll pay two blue to cast Thassa's Oracle and oh, no. trigger on the stack. I will use this colorless and a black for this tainted pact. Yep. Mm -hmm. With Hole Breacher gone, it's Notion Thief's time to shine. In game two, Alan switched to Dina Soul Steeper. This deck looks to reanimate Protein Hulk and then use Dina's ability to sacrifice it. It also runs Exquisite Blood, which combos by itself with Dina in play. Cyrus switched to Belby Corrupted Observer. This deck uses symmetrical life loss effects to get a ton of mana from Belby and get a fast ad nauseum or appear into the abyss. At this point, it looks to win with Witherbloom Apprentice and Chain of Smog. Here's game two. Let's draw. Let's go Chrome Mox, Treacherous Pit Dweller, Rexian Tower, Grim Monolith. Oh, oh baby. 
Wow. And you said in pass from there? Yeah, pass. All right, big draws. Uh, that's going to be Marsh Flats. We'll crack that into Bayou and Elvis Mystic Pass. Cool. Draw for turn. I'm going to Polluted Delta into a Black Blue Underground C. And I will cast. So I really wish I was first going before Jason with this spell. The good old Mystic Remora. And I'll pass. And now I'll draw a card. We'll just go Undergrowth Stadium Pass. Untap. Draw the Emergence Zone. I'll tap that for a Spring Leaf Drum. Remora. Is it one or how much do I have to pay? <laughs> it's four. What the crap is this? <laughs> Take it. Choke on it. Um, <laughs> And I'll pass the turn. Untaps. Big draws. Give me fire. That's going to be land for turn. Will be a Swamp. Let's do two for a talisman and uh you can go ahead and draw nice and then i'll take one off the talisman go to 38 and then we will play dina and i will pass the turn from there untap upkeep we'll pay one more time draw for turn let's play a volcanic island yeah i guess tell me later if i should not play this I always play the mana crypt. Yeah, just in case someone wheels, I guess. Yeah. I believe I am done. Yep, we'll pass turn. I'll draw a card. I will play Urborg. Black black. So yeah. Oh, no, Cyrus, oh no. yeah. He did high. He didn't need a second black. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm mind. gonna play a Mardu Shadow Spear. Then I'm gonna feed the fish. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm gonna M Seal. I, oh, need, nice. I yeah. need some freaking value up in here. Okay, I'll search up a magic card. I take Shoot. this card and pass. Draw and attack Grim Monolith and two black. So I'm floating two colorless. Cast my commander. Wouldn't it be one color? How much does he cost? That's four, right? Oh, yes. I have one colorless floating. Okay, Is that what cool. I. Okay, I said that wrong. You are correct. And then I'll tap this for a black and I'm going to cast Vampiric Tutor. Trigger to draw. I will. You're going to counter the tutor, not the thing I tutor? I don't know if I can counter your tutor or what you tutor for. Swan Song. Oh, nice. Guys, guys, I got a bird. It's really what I wanted. Nice. <laughs> and then... Spring Leaf uh, Drum Activate. I am totally going to Spring Leaf Drum Activate with the leftover colorless. I'm going to cast Collective Brutality. Sure. And I'm going to pick the top mode. I'm not paying. I'm going to have a target opponent reveal his or her hand. It's going to be Carlos. And I'm going to choose an instant or sorcery from that hand. And that player discards that card. Card. Yeah, Dang it. It. Uh, all right. I just I just drew this, so you can take <laughs> that's, that's the one you should choose. Or you can Artifact. choose breach probably. Ooh. I think muddle's a good choice. Muddle really? it can get me uh Thassa, Azorical, yeah. or Tainted Packs. But what's the transmute cost? Three, two blue and a colorless. Yeah, I'll get muddle. Yeah, I'm I'm done. Alright, let's get it. Untaps. Big draws. That's gonna be an undergrowth stadium as landfall turn. I'm just gonna ship it past. Untap, double trigger here. Let's roll first for damage. Odds I don't take damage. So five, dang it. Okay, take three. I think I'm gonna pay one more time because then I just had a couple of mana drain. I'll uh, crack it, take a damage. I think I just pass, so I'm just gonna get a land. My turn. Yeah, oh, I think okay. I think I actually get take the two and do a I grave. So nasty. Keep all that blue mana up. Yeah. I'm going Fetching. to also play Yavamaya, so everyone's got mine. Whoa! You're welcome. I'm going to attack Carlos for one. Everyone loses one. And then, real tempted to play Bell, but I know it's not the thing to do, so I'll pass. No! Untap. Draw. Do you know what your swamps needed? To be swamps. Oh, jeez. I'm going going to untap Grim Monolith and then let's go to combat. I'm going to swing four at Carlos and I'll pass the turn. Big yeah, draws. Let's get it. Dark four on black and it doesn't matter. That's rad. That's going to be three and we're going to Grim Tutor. Trigger. Yup. You're going to pay for fish? Cannot. I'm going to go with... I've got one. There it is. And I will... I'll take three life, and then I'll move to punchies from there. I'll punch Carlos for one, and I'll ship it from there. Big pass. Commander damage one. Boom. I'll untap. 
We'll let your Fisheroonie die, just for you guys. Mm -hmm. I'll do odds I'm safe. Nope. Man. Yeah. Let's, I guess we just luxury sweet. I'm going to play an Is It Signet for the two there. I'm going to cast Demonic Tutor. I'll pass. Oh, yeah. go ahead, sorry. I think I'm just going to swing a Shadow Spear at Carlos yet again. Uh-oh. So two to you, one to everyone else, and a big ol' pass. I'm going to untap, draw. Oh, wait, these are all oh. instants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go to combat. Carlos, you're being attacked. Okay. Two command damage. My dude revealed two <laughs> counter spells, and we're all like, get the sandbags! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn. All right, let's get it. Untaps, big draws. Land for turn is an emergent zone. I'm going to tap one, and I'm going to imp seal. I'll put that on top and ship it. Big pass. Odds I'm safe. Hmm. Ooh, we finally got it. Draw for turn. All right, let's cast Wishclaw Talisman. I'm just doing it. Okay, Underworld Breach. So Storm Count, Dose. I will cast Brain Freeze. Targeting myself. Yeah, I'll respond to Brain Freeze. It's not going to do a whole lot because we know about the counter situation. I'll attempt to Assassin's Trophy the Breach. Dang it. With the Storm Trigger on the stack? Yeah, I'll uh, escape a Swan Song and you get a birdie. And then, uh, I'm going to do something in response. Wizard fight. I'm going to chat my grim monolith. Urborg and the Mox and cast Adnos. I'm not going to do anything. You're not going to counter it? No. Ooh. Card number. Oh, look at that. It's named right Smith. Right off the jump. Crap. I made the wrong choice. Three. And that's going to go up to five. Seven. Ten. Ooh. Thirteen. Profane tutors, zero. Cutthroats, fifteen. Tent, seventeen. Wish claw, nineteen. Oh, dark petition. Twenty-four, I believe me at fourteen. I'll keep going. There we go. Calling the week. Five. Uh, dark confidant is meaningless now. Twenty-seven. We'll stop there, and that'll be thirty. Your one interaction is the uh, imp's mischief what i'm getting off of this yes yeah brain freeze triggers or on the stack oh uh, yeah that's fine intuition I'm... entomb oh not intuition monolith Wait. least uh, dispel winds rebuke rainforest swamp badlands and oh my gosh lion's eye oh, diamond no that... not the led play the the diamond brain freeze again and then i uh will attempt to escape lion's eye with three lands and get three but i can't do anything in response to led you can you respond to the cast if it's still right? on the stack and you want to hold priority you can you can do that so if I tap my Phyrexian Tower for two black, sacrificing my bird token. I think I'm still short, aren't I? Did a regular black, didn't sacrifice the bird, sorry. And then cast Culling the Weak, sacrificing my bird to add four black mana. Use mm -hmm. one of that black mana to tap and sacrifice this so I can cast mm -hmm. everything with four. Attempting to cast Praetor's Grass Tarding Carlos. I will act that one. Okay, that's all I got. This was resolved. You can, you cast it as many yeah. as you want, yes. Yeah, I'll, now uh, you can just go I'll to town and... Sack it, discard my Windfall and Mana Drain and all them, recast. You start brain freezing and so, you're off to the races. Yeah, I think I brain freeze myself one time and then that'll make us 11. Yeah, 11. So 33. This should allow me to... Tainted Pacts with... I guess I do both, right? I mill you guys all out, and then... I'm good to call it a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got you all the options you want for killing us, basically. That was Sweet. awesome. So, <laughs> good game. I really can't believe how lucky I was with that last mill of the Lion's Eye Diamond. If there was any other card milled, I wouldn't have been able to win right there. Literally, the only card was Lion's Eye Diamond. Pretty crazy. In game three, Cyrus switched to Cody Vociferous Codex. This deck uses cantrips and other one cost spells to quickly run into Bring to Light, Ad Nauseum, or Peer into the Abyss. At this point, you will ritual into a ton of mana and Thoracle for the win. Carlos switched to Yorn, God of Winter. 
This is a pseudo stacks deck that looks to lock out opponents with stasis. Yorn's untap ability allows the player to power through the lock. There is a lot of interaction to protect the lock pieces until Oracle or Jace can win the game. And with that, here's game three. I'm gonna draw. We're going to go Arid Mesa into a Taiga. Taiga's gonna cast Tender Wall, and then I'm gonna cast a Chrome Mox, exiling a Miscast. And then this and sacrifice this guy to cast Cody. Then I pass. Land drop? Oh yeah, I gotta get my Taiga. <laughs> I oh. can't find the freaking Taiga in this Oh deck. nice, fail to find, get wrecked. So I yeah. am going to have to pivot to a different land. Instead of Arid Mesa, I, it's going to be a Wooded Foothills and for a Bayou. Yeah, oh, now all the things oh. I did are legal. Draw for turn. Let's play a Snow-Covered Forest or Mr. Shaman here, the death right kind. I'll uh, pass the turn. Tap, draw, swamp, and mana vault, and I'll pass the turn. Thank you, Jules. Love the bayou, because I will see your bayou and raise you an exotic orchard. And nice. tap it for a soul ring and pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep, draw. Sometimes you just draw exactly what you need to draw. That was kind of oh, crazy. Oh no! Arid Mesa. So we'll go black for a Dark Ritual. And then if that's good, Dark Ritual plus one more mana to activate Cody. Then we'll go the black. Culling the weak. I'm going to go get a spell. And if I can just shortcut it, it's going to cascade into an Infernal Tutor. I wonder what you'll get with Infernal Tutor. Just any card he can get with Infernal yeah, Tutor. Profane Tutor will tutor up this mysterious magic card, and then I'm going to shuffle that yeah, ad nauseum the and try, to, try and to win. The mana is a little awkward. We have Jund mana clicking it. Mm, and, and, like and the mind. Mesa? And the Mesa? Yeah, and Mesa's in play. Oh, bring the light for five damage. Nice. Oh, that's a good start. Nice. <laughs> flower. Oh, Simeon that's spirit guy. That hurts pretty bad too. There's the <laughs> breach. Oh, oh, force of will. Wow. Five nice. more damage. Mizzix's mastery. Metal blast. Even tutor. What are we at? Thirteen. Jeez. Dockside. Five for misdirection. Nice. Whoa. I thought yeah. it was over. We're gonna keep hitting here. Go we'll, for we'll it. Hit the cabal rich. Ooh, that's so awkward. Okay, well, let's hit again. Ooh. Oh. 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 Are you sure? Are you, sure? <laughs> you don't want another land? Uh, Exile Simeon Spirit Guide to go up to two. I think you do still Dockside, right? Because that gives you a yeah, creature to definitely. sack. Dock, dockside. Oh, mana fixes. Yeah. And mana fixes, two yeah. Two treasures. So one white for Enlightened Tutor. I'm going to get probe someone. Yep. It doesn't it's, really matter who. I'll show my hand. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, then we'll cast the LED. Then we'll go one black to sacrifice Dockside to get two black. And then that two black, I'll cast Cabal Ritual to get five black. Then this red and two black to cast Jessica's Will, getting six red. We'll just go down to four red for the Underworld Breach. So we'll go ahead and LED taking three blue to start. Then we'll do LED again, exiling these three, sacrifice it for three green. At this point we go two, three, four, five to cast the bring to light. I search my library for a creature, instant, or sorcery with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of colors I spent on the card. I exile it and then I can play it without paying its mana cost. So yep. I mill myself for 27 cards, can recast Lion's Eye Diamond to get the mana, continue yeah. brain freezing myself until my entire library is brain frozen, and then cast out of my graveyard. -y. There she is. Easy girl. That's the circle we got there. It Jeez. took as long as a game where everyone that, got to play. But that was amazing. Got yeah. Play. That was the weirdest 1.5 turns I've ever been a part of. Cody can consistently win on first or second turn, and that is pretty scary. Make sure if you ever run against the Cody deck, you have some kind of quick interaction right away.
Well, that was super fun and we had a blast. Cyrus and Ellen are awesome and we really hope to do this again soon. Who else would you like us to collab with next? Comment down below and we'll see what we can do. If you want to help us keep the lights on and videos coming to you each week, think about joining us over on Patreon. We have a $2 tier that gets you access to our Discord, monthly games with our crew, and much more. Either way, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.